All right, let's do third down. Let's go our favorite bet of the weekend. Colin, I'll let you lead off. Where are you going? Well, I don't have a bet on the team uh, for the game. I have a bet on Western Kentucky to win the Conference USA. Now, two, three years ago, I had 20 to one on UAB and didn't hedge it until right before the game. Just got my initial little buyback in and made, you know, Stuck talked about taking the other side if it's plus. Maybe I jump in and get a unit down on plus three and a half on UTSA. I don't know. Western Kentucky is not being properly recognized by the odds makers. They open this up at a pick. It's flown out to three and a half. There's more money coming into it. The UTSA secondary is one of the worst in the nation against the pass. This team is exhausted and tired. Sincere McCormick has created one missed tackle in the last three games after making 39 this season. This is a tired roster. This is a, a roster that uh, performed, you know, it got a little lucky with the field goal kicking when they went up and beat Western Kentucky, a different Western Kentucky team that is now playing defense. They have not allowed more than 21 points since that loss to UTSA. Western Kentucky, I still think, is completely undervalued on this board. The UTSA secondary cannot deal with Bailey Zappi. This is something we identified when the Houston Baptist head coach, offensive coordinator, got Bailey Zappi and some other players and said, we're coming to Western Kentucky to dominate Conference USA. We kept it in our back pocket and didn't talk about it at all until odds got put up in May, and then we wailed on it. Put in the action app, one of the first things that ever went in. Western Kentucky is going to dominate this game. They're going to beat UTSA. They're going to cash all of our future tickets, and Bailey Zappi is going in as probably the greatest gambling god we've ever had in the history of this podcast since we were to Gin and Juice in 2017. The Zappi hour. I'm going to be <laughs> tweeting that sign and Zappi all, all Saturday. For my favorite bet, Houston, Cincy, under – I just don't see how Houston consistently moves the ball against this elite since he's secondary, which arguably has the top corner duo in all of college football. I think they have started to put a plan in place to maybe move sauce Gardner or Kobe Bryant to the slot. If Dell is cooking there, that's the only way Houston can move the ball. They can't run the ball. And now you're trying to throw on an elite secondary. I don't see it. These are two slower teams. Also another point to raise since he, very good on punts and kickoffs. That's important against arguably the best return man in the country, who's a huge weapon for Houston in most weeks. I do believe in the Houston defense. I just don't believe in their offense. They've faced horrendous defenses this year. This is a big step up in class. I think since he suffocates Houston here, and Houston's defense doesn't let it get too out of hand, give me the under there.